Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is It's She Said, and today we're going to be doing race number four of 36 at good. What am I going to say? Three, two, one. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is It's She Said, and today we're going to be doing the Good Sam 500 at Phoenix International Raceway. So, last race we actually equipped another secondary sponsor, and we chose Ken M. So, hope. Maybe down the line we could get another primary sponsor that gives us more money because, you know, 5k isn't cutting it. The late Alan Kowicki won the inaugural race at Phoenix International Raceway in 1988 and immediately proceeded to run his victory laps clockwise. That move will later become known as the Polish victory lap. You know, when I was reading that, actually, I was about to say Polish. And, you know, thankfully I said Polish. Alright, so we will do qualifying at Phoenix. I mean, this is a short track, so don't expect me to be so good at this track. But I mean, I will try to perform at my best. Maybe, you know, run it all the way down here. In qualifying, I'm going to test the waters out and see how low I could actually go. Oh, God. I'm so used to iRacing where you can like literally run the apron right there. Alright, let's go. Should I be using the brake or not? Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I should be using the brake because I just hit that brake and yeah, you know what happened? Hmm, that wasn't actually that bad. Okay, yeah, we're just going to be drifting this whole race. Yeah, this is not going to be good at all, folks. Hey, we still qualify 26. Yeah. Who are we faster than? Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, Eric Amarola, Almdinger McMurray, and all of them. Logano is the fastest car again. I think there's something broken. Hmm, I don't know. Are you guys seeing that? I don't know. I'm looking at my TV right now, and it's it was like all pixelated, like it was pixelated and stuff. And I was looking at the game capture window, and it looked like that too. So I don't know if it's gonna be like that post rendering. Yeah, but we're off to a great start, though. We're already in 29th. We're gonna go to 30th pretty soon. Can I not go to the inside or something? Oh god, that is terrible. <laughs> I'm literally just drifting every damn corner. Is this into my hand? Sorry. Oh my god, I barely even touched him. That better be a caution. That better be where's my damn caution? Seriously? Come on. Uh, yeah, the Phoenix isn't going to be too nice. All the points I accumulated are just going to go down the drain. We're going to fall out of the top 30 again. We're going to be sad. Our sponsor is going to be sad too. We're supposed to be finishing um, top 25. Where's can -Am? Now that I'm thinking about it. Where the hell's can -Am? I don't see can -Am anywhere in my car. I see Moog. Oh god. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Michael McDowell. Just got loose on me. Don't kill me, please. We're both underfunded cars. You have more sponsors than me, but I mean, we're both underfunded. Any car looks cooler than mine. Alright, yeah, my car is terrible. It just pulled to the wall. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Rip headphone users. Hey, what's up, Truex? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this race is gonna be really fun. 
Um, yeah, thanks, Rex. I don't know what that was for. Hey, what's up, McMurray? Oh, crap. Not what I wanted to do. Come on. Alright. I'm guessing this is legal. To an extent. Because I see NASCAR drivers using cutting the dog leg. Why can't I cut the dog leg? If NASCAR doesn't penalize them, then why should this game penalize me? Right? Um, yeah, Michael Lynette, that really didn't work. Wow, I just, like, literally tapped on the brake and my car w was gonna go head on into the wall. Thank God I let off. Okay, Michael Lynette, sorry. I need to use the dog leg again. Yes, I know. Spotter. Oh my god. Can it stop drifting? Please, like. God, I probably should have equipped a setup for this race. Like, I'm not even. I'm barely even tapping the brakes, so. It's just probably my brake sensitivity on the controller. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're cutting all of this out. And yeah. My car is not sliding. I think I'm wearing my tires to be honest. 89%. No, we're not actually. Oh, past Carl Larson. So, front row cars. Front row motorsports. You know, that's a funny name. Front row motorsports, but they're. You barely see them in the front row. I've never seen them start in the front row. I don't think I have. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're called front row. I don't want to sound stupid. I was conf Back in the day, I used to always confuse furniture row and front row. So I used to call like those cars that I just passed furniture row and the other car front row. Which I mean, it would make sense, right? Twix is like always in the front row. Oh god. Twix is always up there, so I mean, it does make sense. Okay, yeah, I need it. Oh my god, this is just gonna be a smoke show. I need to stop drifting this car. Come on, Bobby Labonte. Let's go. Oh, um, I guess I'll just. Never mind. I was gonna help you, but. I don't know why it's it's you like barely touch anything and you're drifting. You, you could probably like light super lightly tap your brake and you're gonna be drifting. Do you saw that? I barely even touched the brake and I was gonna go head on. I may I am in a wall, but I mean, I was gonna lose the car right there. But enough complaining. I am twenty third. There's twelve to go. God. <laughs> Yeah, short tracks are going to be, like, super, super inconvenient for me. This that's why. They're going to be the killer of me. Okay, so I did not drift that time, but my tires did smoke, which is not, not good at all. Okay, that's the halfway mark. Okay, let's take it nice and smooth. Just bring up a leaderboard. Leader is 18 seconds in front of us, and I don't know how much that is in track time, actually. But if I were to take a wild, educated guess, I'd guess he's on the back stretch right now. I don't know, that's just me. He's probably just in turn three and turn four right now. So yeah, we need to make up a lot of ground. Let's probably try to finish top 20. Ryan Newman's 21st. So KC Mears is 20th. So he could possibly do it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Newman. Just let me by. We all know you're not competitive. I mean, you're like the second competitive most car on the team, though. Alright, yeah, so in front of us is Casey Mears and David Reagan. 
Wow. That was weird. Just so yanked me down. God, it seems like I have steering sensitivity or something. Yeah, I'm just losing the car now. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I try to turn, but then my car just literally shot loose, like super loose. 15 to 22. We should be able to finish off strong. Hopefully, there's no caution. Because the caution would literally kill us. You know, I've been the reason the cautions come out in past races. So, the, the reason the cautions only come out in this game for me is because I'm the one that causes the cautions. I think we only had one, two cautions. Did we have one caution at Daytona? I think we did. Probably had two, to be honest. Alright, six to go. Yeah, I, w I went in too hot in there. That was my fault. Just trying to catch up to these guys. Try to run all the way down there. Hopefully it doesn't give us a penalty. Because why would I? I mean, they do it in real life. Alright, so... Five to go, guys. Five to go. Let's keep it easy. Nice and smooth. Don't overrun the damn corner like... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just yank it down here. Let's just yank it. God, whose dog is barking outside? It's, see, everything distracts me. I need to be focused. It's like four to go this time, so... I need to try to focus on that top 20. Oh god. Is there something wrong I'm doing here? I don't know, but if you guys know there's a wreck in turn four. Oh no. Who wrecked? Um, I don't see any skid marks. And I didn't see anyone. So like I was saying, if you guys know great settings for there's someone up at road, but if you guys know any great settings for a controller like brake sensitivity and stuff, just comment down below. Let me know because I'm really struggling on short tracks with braking and stuff. It was the same at road courses when I was doing single player races. Like, I could not run walk into the land to save my life. I couldn't. And I couldn't race at Sonoma either. Every time we climbed the hill, it just, I like use the brakes and my car would literally go sideways like this. Like, that's why road course, I'm scared to do road course, because I'm going to be terrible. Road course is going to be the death of me. Short tracks are going to be the death of me too, but maybe, like, predominantly the ones that require a lot of braking, like Bristol. I like Bristol. Bristol isn't that bad in this game. But I'm, no, but I'm talking about tracks like New Hampshire, Martinsville, and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I've gotten used to it right now. I just brake a little bit. I let go of the gas, brake a little bit, and let the car slide up. Which is not the correct way to do it, but I've stopped from drifting. Okay, it looks like we're not going to get the top 20. Congrats, Casey Mears. And we will get 21st. Not bad for my first short track race. Speed rating of 86. Fans, we have over a thousand fans now. A thousand thirty fans exactly. Speed points. Our speed points are going up to. And we finished 21st. Don't tell me Joe Logano won the race. Oh look, Jimmy Johnson won the race. About damn time we have a new winner. Oh my god, I was about to say, Logano can't go four in a row. Alright, let's see how much money we get this time. Moog. Can-Am as our secondary. 
a total of twelve thousand dollars twelve thousand nine hundred sixty one that's great so now we are let's see where we are in points we're 27th we're not doing that bad we're actually doing pretty good we'll look at the full point standings right now race results 21st yep yep let's leave the track oh yes auto club is next you know what that means we have 31,000 also so you know what that means earn a little extra achievement unlocked earn money from a secondary sponsor okay so let's go to team we could buy milling equipment which is 20,000 installation of basic milling equipment allows for internally designed engine parts so let's invest our $20,000 in the milling equipment I don't know if we should maybe save up for the engine shop or just max these first guys out and then buy the engine shop yeah maybe we should just max these guys out first but auto club is the next that's really good i wanted to change my sponsor but yeah i know I, sh I shouldn't all right let's look at the standings uh we're 27th let's see if there's any kyle larson's 34th jeremy murray's 33rd that's uncommon um david reagan's 18 wow clint boyer is six okay <laughs> all right so the chase let me rearrange it joe logano joe logano would be first and then johnson would be second in the chase but as they ran as they run in the points joe logano's first and harvick jr kurt bush and then you can see the rest pretty much uh, oh wait you could toggle chase sorting there we go all right chase drivers they have the top 16. we're not in there obviously and then drivers that need wins uh, Ryan Newman, Menard, Truex, Bob Bonnie, me, obviously. And then drivers that need points, I need to get in, I think, 16th. Let me check. Yeah, those are the drivers looking in. David Reagan, Casey Kane, Regan Smith, Austin Dillon, and Michael Lynette. So, that is it for this episode. Our team has one green box. I don't know what that means, but hey, it has one green box and we have one starter facility. So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep um, looking on my channel for more NASCAR Heat Evolution content. I post daily NASCAR Heat Evolution content, ranging from career mode to DLC videos to random AI races. To I'll probably start live streaming, but by the time this video goes up, I may be already live stream once. But if I didn't, I will probably live stream some single player races and online races at a later date. So if you're new, subscribe, like this video if you like the NASCAR Heat Evolution curve mode and yeah that's pretty much it see you guys later